I spent so many hours trying to figure out how to beat the first boss that I almost feel embarrassed looking back to when I started playing this game. I was clearly not mastering the deflecting windows and certainly I did not use the right equipment and stats in the process. But we'll go over all that in the upcoming minutes so you don't have to spend lots of hours figuring them out on your own. And before we start, a subscribe to the channel would be super appreciated if you find this video useful at any point. So Zhang Liang, if I pronounce that correctly, is our first boss encounter in Wulong and he's probably one of the most annoying characters in the first hours of gameplay because he is continuously hitting you, giving only small windows to attack. He has two stages and after you defeat him the first time, nope, it's not over yet. He will take some kind of a potion and transform into a beast with even harder to dodge attacks. And we'll start with the basics which is the moral rank and fortitude rank. In a more simplistic approach, moral rank dictates how much damage you deal and how much damage you take. Fortitude rank dictates the moral rank under which you cannot fall when dying or receiving critical blows from the enemies. Keep in mind that the critical blows are the ones which glow in red and normal attacks will not impact your moral. Given the number of battle flags and marking flags available in this map, we can get a total of 10 moral rank under which we cannot fall even when dying. If you want to further increase it, you'll just have to defeat enemies and be careful not to receive critical blows from them. You can bring your moral up to level 25, which will significantly increase the damage you deal on this boss, but also decrease the damage you take. So if you are not mastering deflecting yet, totally make sure to increase your moral by defeating enemies again and again. Second thing would be to use your chi points to level up, invest in the fire virtue, which will increase your attack, and Earth Virtue which will increase your equipment weight limit and spirit gained when deflecting an attack. You'll want to keep your equipment weight below 70% as this will make dodging much easier and you can move faster which is very important for the second stage of this boss. Now that you've done all the mentioned things, let's get to the boss combat mechanics. So for the first stage he has a couple of combo attacks that you'll need to either dodge or deflect. I'd say steady your guard using the L1 button and try to deflect every attack just to be on the safe side. To deflect an attack, press the circle button right before an attack lands on you while having the L1 button pressed. Whenever you notice him glowing red, that means he is preparing to land a critical blow which cannot be dodged using the L1 button, so make sure to deflect it at the perfect moment. And yeah, you'll have to practice this a couple of times. After deflecting a normal attack, this gives you an opening to perform a spirit attack using the triangle button, but only once. Don't rush to combos yet because he might prepare a critical attack which you cannot deflect during your attack combo and it's going to damage you quite a bit. Be patient and wait for the red glowing attacks. After deflecting two of these, you can perform a fatal strike which significantly decreases his HP. After losing half of his HP, he jumps in with two new attacking mechanics. One of them is this jump attack which can be dodged and the other one is performing two critical attacks one after another. Make sure to hit him only after his second red glowing attack and this will allow you to perform yet another critical blow. After defeating the first stage, Zhang Liang is drinking some sort of a special potion and transforms himself into an awkward monster with totally different attacking mechanics. I'd say keep the distance because only a couple of his attacks can kill you and whenever you see him preparing this red glowing ranged attack, deflect it and this will close the gap between the two of you, allowing you to perform a spirit attack and a couple of normal ones. Right after this, go back, keep the distance and repeat this until you perform more fatal strikes. He also has another special attack which is harder to deflect and you can get out of its way if you're not comfortable deflecting it yet. And all of these are possible because you can move quickly as your equipment weight does not exceed 70% threshold. So again, pay attention to the equipment weight as it's something really important. I recently revisited him and I was able to deflect most of his attacks. That's about it, thanks so much for watching, I hope this guide will come in handy for you guys and totally let me know in the comment section down below how difficult was this boss encounter for you. I'll leave a couple of extra shots so that you can see all the attacking mechanics and be prepared for your first boss fight. Until next time, wish you lots of fun playing Wulong.